Well, now there's the new development of FBI Director James Comey reportedly demanding the Department of Justice publicly refute the president's claims, saying they're not, they are not true. Looking at Danny Coulson, former FBI Deputy Assistant Director, who joins us now. Uh, this is a pretty stunning and startling turn, uh, Mr. Coulson. Apparently, do we have a situation shaping up in Washington of the president versus his FBI director versus the Department of Justice and Mr. Comey's demand so far unfulfilled that the DOJ say the president is wrong. Your reaction? Well, obviously, James Comey would know. Um, in order to get a, a wiretap under the FISA court, it takes a court order and a, uh, a very long paper trail that's uh, generated by the FBI and the Department of Justice. So they will know exactly if a FISA was requested. They'll know who did it and what the supporting evidence was. And if it didn't happen, if it didn't happen, it's not there. So I, I think there's a possibility some kind of coverage may have emanated there at the uh, at Trump Tower, maybe some unrelated uh, but What do you uh, mean by that, by something. coverage? Uh, it would be a FISA, another type of FISA. Um, there are a lot of entities at Trump Tower, and who knows what it could have been. Uh, the FBI, we know, are looking at uh, attempts by the Russians to infiltrate our uh, political process, and they may have asked for some kind of coverage over some entity there that was receiving uh, information or inquiries from the Russian government. Um, there's a lot of possibilities here, but Eric, it's going to be really f easy to figure this out. The paper trail, and I've had to do these a lot of times, the paper trail is very uh, uh, detailed. You know exactly who did it, and you know exactly what the evidence was. Oh. So if the FBI doesn't have it, then I think there's a lot of highly, uh, it's not highly likely that it ever occurred in, in the way that it was presented. Well, it, it, not a highly likely way that it occurred in the way it was presented. In other words, it's not true. The president's tweet is not true, according to uh, a, a, what Mr. Comey is saying, as reported by the New York Times. So why is it Mr. Comey, who has not hesitated in the past to come out and speak about an investigation, Hillary Clinton's email, uh, and her email servers uh, did that in the summer. Then uh, when the Anthony Weiner stuff popped up uh, on a computer, he came out a couple of weeks before the election. What's stopping him from coming out? The New York Times says that he's asked the DOJ to step up. So far, no answer from the Department of Justice this weekend. They're silent. Why doesn't Comey just come out and say, if it's not true? It's not true and the president well, is wrong. I think he is saying that. He's saying the Department of Justice should deny it. Remember, the FBI director works for the Department of Justice. He's not an independent entity. And I think if he comes out and says this did not happen, um, and the Department of Justice should say it didn't happen, then I think that says volumes about what his position is on this thing. With regard to uh, Mrs. Clinton, that was a closed case. He had, they'd closed the case. So he's, he's at liberty and should, rightly, uh, in the matter of justice, uh, talk about it. Say, we found, well, we're not going to prosecute her. He had an obligation to do that. So in that case, because uh, in this case, this, because uh, I think he's essentially doing what you would hope he would do. Because, and because all this is open, you're saying that, you know, he cannot directly come out and comment about it? No, what, I, what I'm saying is, is that the de denial rightly should come from the Department of Justice because the Department of Justice is the one that presents the application through the FISA court based on FBI inf information. And I think it's the last authority the Department of Justice should do that. I think he said it essentially. You guys, you know, come out and say what's going on here. I'm sure there's a lot, I'm sure there are people are running around like sprayed bugs there in Washington right now trying to figure out how to handle this thing. <laughs> but but, but bo bottom line is it, it's kind of silly uh, in my view and because it's so easy to find out. It is, it's either there or it's not, and there's no gray area. And, and, and finally, we've been through this before. I mean, remember clashes with the White House and the FBI, Louis Free when he was the FBI director in the Clinton White House. What do you see shaping up here, Mr. Coulson, when you're dealing with an FBI director uh, apparently saying what the, the president says uh, isn't the case? Well, I think what he's saying is it's, it's a misunderstanding. And I think that's what it is. I think some information has gotten to the, to the White House staff, and they're all a Twitter about it. Uh, concerned that they were being monitored and that the previous president did something inappropriate. But I think that when he comes down to it, when you look at the nuts and bolts and the documented evidence, you're going to find it didn't occur, not in the way that they think it occurred. And I, I, I applaud the director. I've had meetings with him since I've uh, left the FBI. He's a man of integrity, and he's going to stand up and do what's right. And I think he's done a good job here. All right, we'll see how this plays out uh, Monday morning. The government office is open. We'll see what reaction there is. Danny Coulson, thank you for joining us. And I, I, I realize you just said they, everyone's a Twitter. That's uh, <laughs> certainly. I think they are. That certainly is, is, has been the case. Thank you, sir.
Thank you, sir.